Hey guys, it's Pingu here with part 8 of the Dwarf Fortress tutorial. Now, I want to quickly cover a few things that I've missed on the last lessons. I made this 5x5 five five supply uh, trade depot here, but I forgot to make a door into it, so just make a 3x1 door. Uh, theoretically, you want 3x1 because uh, uh, traders will actually bring in wagons, or should bring in wagons if it wasn't bugged, but, uh, but just get in the habit of making it uh, that size, and it looks better as well if you're just making a 5x5 five five room. And uh, and I made this farm earlier, but forgot to actually set them to make anything. So uh, go to the farm, and for spring you want sweet pods, for summer you want cave wheat, and for autumn you want pigtails. You can switch them up a little bit, but you just want those three uh, plants because they're very good for brewing. Um, they're not edible. I don't think you can even cook them, but you can make them into cloth, and... Uh, or some of them into cloth and you can brew all of them into a, a better drink so we don't have to drink wine all the time because uh, your dwarfs will just get upset if they only have to drink wine they're, they're really picky in that regard so migrants have arrived which is great um, I actually do not have any carpenters making those beds there I just realized so I want to make sure that one of these guys maybe he's a carpenter hopefully they are uh, but probably not so we want to set somebody to be a I copied it. And I see we have the high monster butcher, so he will uh, he will replace the other butcher we have in terms of uh, butchering the animals. He'll just have the the precedence there, but uh, so we don't have to worry about that novice guy that we uh, we we set to uh, be our butcher. Setting this guy to be a carpenter. This is just a. I probably even shouldn't record this, but I do need a carpenter because I forgot all about it. Now we want to do the military. So the, there's two ways, a few ways to make the a barracks. Easiest way is just to build a bed um, in this new room we've got, and we also want a door, which means we have to construct a door, um, just because it does the, the bleed thing. Now I didn't mention this earlier, but I construct the door, and but there's two repeat tasks uh, ahead of it. Will it just repeat making tables and thrones and forget about the door? What happens is uh, when it makes a table and it sets a repeat or something, it goes to the bottom. So what it will do, it will make a table, it will make a throne, and then it will make that door. So we don't have to worry about it forgetting about the door. Or we could go over down to the door and hit P a few times to promote it to the top so he will start working on the door immediately. Um, I want you guys to just keep building up your fortress. Do not make a military this early on. You will just uh, waste a, you know, potentially a workable dwar dwarfs and uh, and you won't need the military at all it'll be completely useless at this state uh, but we I will do it now because because uh, uh, it's actually one of the harder things in this uh, new uh, dwarf fortress version a lot of uh, old players are just not used to it and uh, it's not necessarily hard but it's uh, just uh, interrupted by mandroid just an animal but it's not hard it's just uh, a few te steps to make so you want to make a bedroom size it however and uh, you see the same options as before, but we want to select barracks this time. So hit B, and it will change to yes. But before we can uh, use it as a barracks, we need to make some squads. So go to the noble screen with N. And you see we have this militia commander. Uh, he is in charge of the fighting. He's in charge of our squads. But we don't want to put him on uh, in harm's way. So what we'll do is we'll assign any random guy that will be inside our ba base and secure the whole time, this expedition leader, and have him be the militia commander. Now, you have to get out of the screen and then come back. And you'll see there's a new position down here, this militia captain. Um, this is a guy who will actually lead the squad we end up creating. We could have the squad led by a militia, a militia commander, but we want to keep him safe. In fact, so safe, I will find him. There he is, because we know he's he's doing the, the bookkeeping. We'll find him, we will set his labors, he will not do any more hauling, so we'll go down here. This guy will only do our noble tasks. Oops, sorry. So uh, no more no more of that, and we can even stop it so he doesn't care about feeding or prisoners recovering wounded, but it doesn't really matter. He won't do those very often, he won't clean very often, so... Uh, Oh, it looks like he's architecture, but again, we those are just uh, the hauling ones can uh, can get your nobles in a in, in quite an area where they are unable to respond where they're needed. So we have this uh, militia captain we need. I kind of forgot about that for a second. We need to find somebody to do it. So hit V, and we want to go over with general and see if we can find anybody good at combat because we want our captain to be a. You don't want him to die very often. That would be terrible if we had to get a new. Uh, 
you kept him all the time. And it looks like one of our migrants just happened to be very good, very good at uh, at, at all this combat stuff. So you deal our role. Um, we will set him to be our militia cam uh, captain. Where is he? He's one of the new guys, so he's near the bottom. Um, and I'll just quickly notice, it, when you're setting militia captains or commanders, it does not have any relevant skills, unfortunately. It does not help you, so you actually have to manually find somebody who would be good at leading uh, a bunch of troops. Now that we've made a captain, we can hit M to go in the military screen. And uh, this screen shows the uh, the squads we've got. We don't have any squads right now, we just have a, a commander and a captain. And, uh, and by the way, you can navigate this entire menu by clicking. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to click, but uh, you see you can. It's uh, it's just one of those supporting the mouse clicks for, for whatever reason. Uh, you can even click on this, you don't even have to use arrow keys. But uh, we want this militia captain to command a squad, so we go down to his name and hit C to create squad. We get a choice of what armor he wants. We want these guys to wear leather armor. Uh, because we do not have any armor at this point, and we can actually make some leather, some some very basic leather armor, until the, we can uh, trade for some better uh, better things. So we have uh, Mr. Udil here. He's accomplished spearman. Is his best trait. And we go down to this available slot and hit right, and we can go by and find some guys to assign to our army. We can recruit them. This guy's an adequate fighter. He's also a mason, but we've also got a mason here. So just hit enter. We want him to go in. And, uh, oops, sorry about that, sorry, ooh. we want to get more guys for our army, we want, uh, this novice fighter, he's fine, and we'll go and uh, get this, uh, another novice fighter, I don't really care, these could be important guys, but, uh, I'm just looking for some four guys to make, uh, a, a military. Now, when you, uh, cancel out, they won't do anything yet, even though they're part of a squad, because they're not actually set to, uh, to perform any duties. Now, this could be good or bad, like you might want uh, an army just in case, like I can have an army set up but have them do civilian tasks. But for now, even though it's this early, I, please please do not make an army this early. I'm doing for demonstration, but uh, we will make them train and we'll have them train all year round. So first thing we do is go to this barracks we made, and you see it shows all the squads down here. We've only got one, the Inky Plains, and it's a random name by the way, I didn't make it that. And uh, you hit T on them to train. You can hit the plus or minus to go at each of them. There's a few other options, like you can make it so they sleep here. Um, I don't care, really, if they sleep there. You can also do a few other things, but we just care about training. That's all you really, really use. Um, hit escape, and just like that, they should go up and get in the room. But uh, the, the problem is they are still wearing their civilian equipment. They still look like they... When you go over them, they are still... Um, this guy's not, but like this guy's a, a trader. But they're doing combat drills, which is great. They're trading, but we want to tell them that they need to be ready for combat at any time. They're not just uh, trading in the civilian guard. Even though that guy's got a big knife, but he doesn't actually. He's just a uh, a butcher. Uh, so what you do is you hit M for military, and you hit A, or you could click on alerts if you want for alerts. And uh, and you see here, these are the alerts. I will cover these in depth later on, but this is just to set up your training military. Um, so we want some active training guys. So we go down to active training, and go right and hit enter on the inky plans, and we set them to A for meaning they're, they're using this alert. We could set the entire civilian population to a certain alert by just hitting enter on it without going over to the squads. That means all the civilians will be active in training. I don't even know what that does, but we want them inactive. We don't want them anywhere near... Uh, yeah. So now that we have uh, have them hit A, that the, the squad is now active in training, they should grab armor if they can find any. But the thing is, we don't actually have any armor in... Uh, oh, just as I go away, they do. They, they become recruits, and they actually become soldiers rather than just uh, civilians. We don't have any armor, so for, for next lesson, um, I don't know what I'll we'll cover, but we will make a few workshops to get them some basic leather armor. Uh, you want a tanner shop to turn uh, any hides into uh, into leather, and then you want a leather works to turn any of those uh, those created uh, leather pieces into some actual uh, actual leather armor. And while those are building, um, just again, just, just play around a bit, uh, see what you can do with his military. Try and uh, try and get them and and look what they have. Like this guy has. Uh, if you go to his inventory, he's just got some uh, some. Standard clothing. He doesn't have any armor at all. 
and it's a uh, <laughs> we really need to uh, fix this because we didn't come with any but until later and when we get some trade depots coming in we have no choice right now but to have them unequipped it's fine though because they are doing combat drills so they will level up but if we wanted to make them attack they would end up running at their opponents with bare hands and uh, and just some cloth of clothing and uh, that is not good that will lead to the, a lot of dead dwarfs um, so we will redeem that in next lesson I'll see you then